of uh, former government uh, enterprise Priroda, Nature. Mr. Sidelnikov, so uh, let him kick things off. Who will tell us? Uh, he will tell us about uh, the launch of the constellation in the interest of uh, Russia. Yes, it's it's quite challenging, I must tell you, to start in the morning. Let me welcome everyone to Rucker's recitals to make it poetic. Well, it says here I must sit closer to the microphone. So, first of all, I would like to congratulate Rockers. Uh, they've been around for 20 years organizing such exciting recitals, these meetings uh, that provide us uh, with a chance to discuss a lot of things, technical aspects, expectations, of what can or will be launched and to exchange advanced technology. We can also discuss areas of concern, but the most important thing is that uh, we get together as human beings, we exchange, to exchange business cards, uh, we network, so it's very important all the credit uh, to Rock Course. We will now talk about mundane stuff. The chairman uh, has uh, started the subject. I will take it a little bit further now. Uh, let's just say Priroda uh, government agency, which has been renamed now. Over 40 years of existence has worked with um, uh, Roscosmos very closely on uh, satellite uh, development. Uh, satellites are designed primarily for monitoring purposes and uh, they cover things that are not quite suitable for mapping. So at the stage of designing uh, we try to make a proper contribution to make sure that these monitoring devices can be used to the fullest for mapping applications as well. In particular, during all the flight tests of uh, resource decay, uh, canopus, uh, resource P, I can tell you, and uh, I must uh, thank Roscosmos, they respond uh, readily to our requests. And uh, indubitably, this produces positive impact. When resource decay uh, was around, it produced, it acquired 7 million square uh, kilometers. Now, we have some interesting satellites coming online, and I think that the projection that soon we will have uh, remote sensing satellites, and a lot of them, I think uh, there is validity behind these projections. It has been uh, previously mentioned that uh, Canopus V or B and uh, BK are long-awaited satellites with 2.5 uh, resolution, 20 kilometers swath. What was their problem from the outset? during designing, we insisted that these satellites operated in formation as tandems. These are twin satellites with all the features. And um, for mapping purposes, you need to uh, carry out uh, region acquisition. And, mm, 
the problem that has been recently taken up, including by Digital Global, is uh, forming constellations of satellites. Previously, uh, there were individual satellites in orbit producing data, but now it makes sense uh, to put satellites in one orbit so that they deliver with uh, acquisition and strip much broader than they can do individually. Uh, the higher the resolution, the narrower is the strip they can cover. You know that uh, world view has 10 to 12 kilometers, and uh, we have uh, 17 million square kilometers of area. So the challenge was to design a satellite with a minimum resolution, more than one meter, and wider swath, wider capture strip. Our argument led to two options. The tandem option, where two satellites could be spread out and be separated uh, by the distance of uh, 1,200 kilometers. And they also, and the second option was to um, separate them by 180 degrees. Uh, so the decision was made to separate them 180 degrees and uh, put them on the orbit properly so they could uh, deliver better results. As a result, an agreement was signed. So now two satellites fly in the orbit like that, and uh, when needed, they acquire data from uh, the necessary sites. Since uh, Canopus V turned out a stable platform with the good performance, a decision has been made finally to launch four more satellites by 2015. With a constellation of five units, we can monitor the territory of Russia once in a day with the roll degree of uh, 20 degrees. And at Nadir, uh, or six uh, to seven days. Typically, Russia is difficult to capture because of cloud cover, smoke, uh, bad weather conditions, and based on the uh, de resource decay experience, I can tell you that we expected uh, different results. We thought that uh, Siberia and Yakutia could not be covered, but we did okay there, and the rest of the country could not uh, be covered even over three to four years of uh, lifetime of uh, resource decay. So this is a very important issue for us. Additional four units will help us monitor the full area of Russia. Uh, we had a presentation from Roslas in Fork, in form. Uh, Canopus IK satellite will be um, designed just for them. This will be an inf infrared, infrared. It will have 130 uh, meter resolution, so they will monitor fires and other natural disasters. We need this kind of unit. Besides, thanks to Canopus, you can carry out convergent imagery uh, from the angle of 16 degrees, uh, or you can do it by pitch or from uh, related spins, and that uh, generates a very good image. This, is, this feature allows using them for stereo imagery and for uh, monitoring purposes of uh, big areas. The next unit is uh, resource P. The flight test will be over on the 30th, it will be uh, made operational. It ran all the tests. 
It turned out to be a very good unit. It gives you a resolution of uh, 0 0.8, 0 0.9 meters. The swath is 38 kilometers, and the revisit time is 47 uh, days. For, Carno for Carnopus, it's uh, 94 days. Interpass uh, distance uh, is a shift of satellite to the east or to the west uh, to make sure th that uh, this area between passes is covered. A resource uh, P is an interesting unit. In panchromatic mode, it gives one meter and it gives uh, three meters in spectra, uh, multispectral imagery. For experimental purposes, a 30 meter uh, resolution spectrometer was put on it. This is an interesting option for foresters uh, because uh, they will be able uh, to determine uh, the condition of the forest and address other issues. Uh, next year we'll have another resource P unit coming up and uh, we suggested putting them <coughs> in orbit uh, divided by 180 degrees and the th next one will be 120 degrees away. It also allows for uh, convergent uh, imaging uh, with two units it's possible uh, to cover all the distances and areas between uh, passes in 24 days. Of course, we will contemplate the constellation of units and their positioning uh, to cover the territory of Russia. What we failed to achieve, sadly, is uh, to have the same imaging uh, for all the units uh, because resource pay is using a descending route and we can see how their routes uh, cross uh, so on certain number of days uh, they will cross and give images of 2.5 or 1 meter GSD Besides, we talked to Ross Cosmos about uh, creating constellations of satellites with various uh, resolutions because different agencies approach us with the uh, request to acquire data f fast. Sometimes they uh, demand things that they don't need. With one meter resolution, we ask why. They say that we need to make weather uh, forecasts. So we ask them to uh, divide that uh, be between uh, different resolutions, 0.5 to 1 meter, 2.5 to 5 meters, that's super high resolution and high resolution. So the next generation of constellation uh, of units that has been approved and we'll have the first satellite in 2015. Uh, the original resolution will be 7 meters seven meters in panchromatic and 14 meters in uh, multispectrals and the swath will be 85 kilometers the next two units will have 120 kilometers of strip and five to seven meters of grand, ground sampling uh, distance these units will be covering uh, Russia for monitoring purposes
by 2017, they want to design cannabis with the one meter resolution, but with the 100 kilometers strip. Viktor Nikolaevich knows that the biggest problem with uh, super high resolution is when you uh, when you get uh, distortions along the edges of the image. This is a problem that needs to be tackled right away. So I would like to say that this uh, constellation of uh, units will provide us with uh, full coverage of Russia. We will have all the materials for Russia and domestic uh, satellites will uh, satisfy and meet all our needs and uh, it might as well be that uh, we will uh, obtain images made in the West but maybe next year uh, we will have uh, we will start m making another satellite with uh, 0.5 meter resolution and it should be over by 2018 we didn't have money to start it earlier that's all I have thank you very much will we have any questions uh, for Vladimir Petrovich doesn't seem to be the case oh there is one you said that uh, one of the satellites will be launched in the in the interest of Ross lesson fork uh, can others use uh, their uh, their images all the government agencies uh, will get them for free and for others it may be commercial so there will be a single operator no we will have uh, a team of operators and uh, we're talking about uh, taking it over to the uh, sec sectoral people in fact Roscosmos set up four operators across Russia when we have uh, too many satellites I think we will have uh, a problem of one operator and we will need more of them and it will have to be distributed somehow for resource decay there was a big problem with uh, obtaining um, space data it's a matter of availability so image availability is uh, 45 days thank you any other questions doesn't seem to be the case thank you for your attention